Hello Nidorinos and Nidorinos, it is King Nido here and today the Striton Greens are going up against the Saffron Powerlings who are bringing their huge physical attacks that Striton Greens did not kick off their season exactly the way they are hoping that they are looking to get things back on track whereas the Saffron Powerlings still yet to lose a game. Let us know who you think will win this matchup in the comments below and we'll send it down. Now both these sides have a lot of potential to bring this season as it will be for Simeon and Gallade starting out for the Powerlings. It'll be Rillaboom and Brute Bonnet starting out for the Greens and immediately Rillaboom with that grassy surge ability. Remember, the home side will all have their hidden abilities as a bitter blade from Rillaboom onto Persimian. Get some good damage in there. Now that would normally restore some health, but Rillaboom is at full strength as we get a Brave Bird. From Gallade and Rillaboom is able to hold on. Gallade taking some recoil damage from that move. And it could be followed up by Persimian who goes for the Yawn. Doesn't go for the 1-2 combination knockout. Instead, Rillaboom will just grow drowsy on the field as a seed bomb now. On to Persimian. Persimian's able to hold on after that attack from Brute Bonnet. And there is that grassy train immediately coming into play. Restoring the health of everyone who's taken damage on that turn. Rillaboom though with the Razor Leaf. And Gallade hangs on. But Persimian is eliminated. This is a huge start for the Striking Greens. As the Baby Doll eyes from Gallade is going to lower that attack stat of Rillaboom. As Brute Bonnet with the cut. And the huge play is completed by the Striating Greens, taking out both fighting type Pokemon in the one turn. Rillaboom still in this matchup as it does fall asleep, gets a little bit of health restored from the grassy terrain. And it is Serena coming out for the Saffron Powerlings and Annihilate joining it by its side as Serena will shed that grass tapping. It normally would be on the side of the Striating Greens, but it is the Terrastalizing Pokemon for the Saffron Powerlings. It now gains that fighting typing, having shed its grass typing. It is still weak to flying type attacks, though, as Annihilate with the grassy glide onto Rillaboom, and Rillaboom still hangs on after that not very effective move. It is still fast to sleep, though, so it is an easy target. Serena could take it out right here, right now, as an Aqua Cutter on the Brute Bonnet. Not very effective from, from Serena there. And we get the Skitter Smack onto Annihilate, which is resisted. But it will lower that special attack of the Park Ghost type as Annihilate may get itself almost back to full strength there for, thanks to the grassy terrain. Again, everyone's still restoring health as that grass terrain's still active. But the Gunk Shot, this will be super effective, making sure that Rillaboom is finally taken out of this matchup. It was able to last so many close calls. The Mega Kick onto Brute Bonnet, a fantastic hit there by Serena. As the agility, you see if this could make Brute Bonnet quicker than the fighting type Pokemon as it gets that massive speed boost. And there is its health being restored. That grass terrain still in effect. And now out comes a bomb of snow for the Shriaton Greens as the shore up by a Brute Bonnet looking to get itself back to full strength here. And that it does. As we get the Shadow Sneak. Onto a bomb of snow from an eye gets a good hit in there, and Serena looking to follow it up here. Going for the Thunderfang, they are trying to get rid of this ice type Pokemon by the look at things, even with that not very effective move. And now we get the Power Gem in response by a bomb of snow onto Serena, which isn't very effective, and still that grassy terrain coming into play as it finally disappears from this field, and Brute Bonnet now is the quickest Pokemon on the field, going with the Waterfall onto an eye and an eye taking some damage from that move, responding with the side beam, but it will not affect Brute Bonnet, who is part dark type, so it's immune to psychic type attacks. And speaking of psychic, the psychic terrain is set up on the field. A huge terrain play in this matchup so far as the battlefield gets weird. A future site is being set up by Bombastler and it's focusing in on Annihilate. It could do some massive damage there as a beat up from Brute Bonnet. Even though it gets the same type attack bonus, it will not be very effective on Serena. And it is doing minimal damage. It does damage for each Pokemon remaining on the side of the Striking Greens. So it's not very effective attack. It does hit five times, but Serena barely looks like it even took one. As the Rock Tomb on the Brute Bonnet from Annihilate is going to lower that speed of Brute Bonnet back down. And now the Brave Bird coming into play yet again. Brute Bonnet's able to hold on though as Serena gets the recoil damage similar to what Gallade did to Rillaboom earlier. And now the Focus Blast from a Bomber Snow. It won't affect Annihilate, but it is immune to fighting type attacks. Brute Bonnet though with the Swift 
And again, doesn't affect Annihilate, but it will not miss Serena. It is a 100% accurate move. As a Tail Whip is going to lower the defenses of the Grass-type Pokemon here. See so if the fighting types can capitalize on that with their huge physical attacks. That's a Dazzling Gleam hitting both Abomasnow and getting the super effective hit on Brute Bonnet and the elimination. Abomasnow though responding with the confusion on its arena and that super effective hit has gotten the elimination as well. A fantastic response by Abomasnow for the Striking Greens. And Annihilate is going to take the Future Sight attack and with that super effective move, Annihilate is eliminated as well. And it will be Quackleville and Pormont as the last two Pokemon for the Sacrifice and Power Links. And it is Scoville and coming out for the Striking Greens. Pormont immediately with the Water Pledge onto a so not very effective. And Quackleville looking to follow it up with the Confused Rage, going for Scoville in here. Remember, Scoville has that part Fire Typing as well, see if that can have a play in this matchup as Scovillain is confused it needs to shake it up here the momentum is on the side of the striating greens and Scovillain does damage to itself that is fantastic for the saffron palings as they are down to the last two pokemon a bombers with the gigaton hammer on to pormont not very effective however as that moody ability boosts the special defense of Scovillain but lowers its physical defense Pormont with the lunge onto Scovillain. Scovillain almost eliminated having its attacks that lowered in the process, but Quackleville could finish it off instead, opting to go for the Amnesia, boosting its special defense here. Scovillain could actually eliminate itself. It's still confused. It needs to shake it off here. It is successful, and it goes for the charm, and it is going to try and charm Quackleville here, greatly lowering that attack stat as a bonus, though. Going for the Shadow Force, it is going to vanish instantly on the field. 120 base attacks that for Quackleville, by the way, so that is fantastic. To have that load as the special attack gets boosted for Scovillain, but does lower its speed here. And remember, it's an easy target. Pormont could take it out, going for the Magic Powder. It won't affect Scovillain, however. And Quackleville with the Slam, but a Bomber Snow who still vanished, it does avoid the attack and goes for its Shadow Force now. On to Quackleville, getting a great hit on the water fighting type here as Scoville, still confused, again needs to shake it off, and it is successful. If it does not shake it off, it will eliminate itself from this matchup that you have to be sure of. As the special attack boost for Scoville, again lowering its physical defense, though. And Pormont with the Fairy Lock. I think Scoville knows it doesn't need its defenses right now. It needs to go for some physical or, or special attacks. But the Hex from Quackleville onto a bomber snow. A bomber snow is able to stay in this matchup. It responds with the scale shot. But Quackleville avoids that attack. And Scoville is still in this matchup, still in its confused state. Yet again, shakes it off though. And it goes for the lash out on the Pormot here. And Pormot tanks that hit. Not very effective. This time Scoville boosts its special defense. And yet again, it's lowered its physical defense that as Pormont with the stored power and Scovillain is able to tank that hit it's still in this matchup as the flame wheel from Quackleville gets a bomber snow off this field with that quad super effective move getting that crucial elimination but Scovillain has finally snapped out of its confused state going for the icicle crash onto Pormont here Pormont able to hold on as Scovillain gets that sharp attack boost but it does lower its special defense this time and this time it's Electrode coming out and immediately going for the Fire Blast on the Pormont and immediately getting the elimination does his in Electrode. That is fantastic for the Striking Greens as the Hydro Cannon eliminates Scoville, even getting the critical hit for good measure. Scoville was able to hang on for so long and it's Miascarada coming out for the Striking Greens as the Meteor Beam is being set up by Electrode. It will get the special attack boost on this turn. See if it can finish it off in this next turn as Miascarada is about to gain the psychic typing thanks to that protein ability and Quackleville is able to hold on after that psychic move but it was super effective Electro though following up with the Meteor Beam and this will get the elimination even though not very effective attack the Saffron Powerlings have been handed their first loss here today thanks to the Striating Greens a huge victory for them, and that is exactly what they need. And this will move them up 
into the Elite Four, into third place, one spot above the Power Lynx, in fact, as the Power Lynx next round will be taken on the Akala Capsules, who are currently sitting only one place below them, whereas the Striton Greens will be facing the Four True Tempest. They will be at a type disadvantage, but until then, Nidorinas and Nidorinas, thank you so much for watching. Let us know in the comments below who you thought was the best on field, but more importantly, always remember, you are awesome, and I'll see you when you see me.